this morning, in uh, less than three hours, between us and our volunteers, we've planted about a thousand trees. If you look across the landscape, you think, oh, it's just grass. But if you focus your eyes and look beneath your feet, what you find is lots of oxeye daisies, there is yarrow, there are buttercups, there are self heal, there are plantains, there are um, bacon and egg, we call that, lotus corniculatus. So even within this little area here, you're seeing a dozen or more different species of meadow perennials. And their importance is that every native insect needs not only nectar from the flowers, but it needs these leaves because that's where they lay the eggs for the next generation. And that's how grasses and meadow contribute so highly to biodiversity. So in, in, in order to, to establish your meadow, you followed the stale seedbed technique. How exactly does that work? It's an agricultural technique. And what it means is that you plough, uh, you press and you prepare a seedbed of fine tilth, as we say in the trade, and you then wait for all of your weed seeds to germinate. And I can tell you, you have never longed so much for weed germination uh, as when you're preparing the stale, the stale seed bed. And we thought they'd never cold, come. We'd, we'd basically they'd never come. But eventually you get a green haze of weeds over your stale seed bed and you then spray it out. If you were doing it organically, you burn it off. Um, you know, like with flame gun things. And what that means is your weed burden, fingers crossed, is buried below the surface of the soil. And if you then sow shallowly into that, you're not bringing any more weed seeds up to the surface to germinate. So you're getting a clean meadow crop, which then we have planted trees into. You don't plant for yourself, you plant for your children or your grandchildren. And until you reach a certain age, that's just a cliche. But when you do reach a certain age, it kind of brings with it intimations of mortality and you really know what it means to be planting for your grandchildren and your children. Because I won't see this woodland come to maturity. And when I'm not here, there'll be other generations to take over after me. Thank you.